Good morning, everyone. How are you guys doing this morning? Uh, we've had a few days uh, now to get some homeschooling underneath our belts, and uh, if anybody wants to comment, email me back on how that's going. I'll be, I would love to hear from you guys. Today, I thought I'd take the opportunity to talk to you all about uh, a program called Sources of Strength. This year, our uh, elementary school Oveus program has uh, adopted and decided to highlight uh, the tenets of this program called Sources of Strength. And what is Sources of Strength, you're probably asking? Well, it is a research-based, evidence-based suicide prevention program. And before you get uh, worried that we're using a suicide prevention program with elementary school students, uh, the truth is, um, and you'll understand this as I talk about it more, as um, we adopt and create an environment where we focus on hope, help, and strength, uh, as my shirt here, spread the hope, um, then you'll see that there will be real climate change among people. And not just uh, in the elementary school, but this is a program we're using uh, 612 as well. And it's something that uh, we would definitely love to have um, community partners as we become stronger with our program inside school, uh, having more uh, community involvement in our sources of strength issues. So uh, what is sources of strength? Well, as I said, it's a research-based, evidence-based program. And sources of strength has with it uh, eight areas that they have identified as sources of strength for all people. And not every person has um, all these areas of strengths at once. And some people have maybe just one area of strength in their life. And I'll just take a few moments to go through all the areas of the sources of strength wheel with you. Um, like I said, there are eight of them. And the first that I'd like to highlight is actually called um, Positive Friends. And we have all had uh, experiences with friends. We know what a bad friend is in our life. And I'm sure we can pick out those people in our lives who have uh, been there through thick and thin and have really helped us out of jams and um, are just people that um, we know we can be ourselves with and energize our lives, speak truth into our lives. Uh, those are our positive friends. And uh, for me, uh, I have some best friends that I went to college with. We all worked at the summer camp, same summer camp together. And to this day, 20 years later, we still get together um, several times a year in our families and our wives and hang out most recently over New Year's. And my friend hosts at his house uh, eight adults and nine children uh, for three days called Festival of Friends. And it's just a blast all hanging out together. So we all have, um, I'm sure, somebody in our life that we could pick out that is that positive friend in our life. The next um, source of strength is uh, family support. And, you know, we might have families that um, just weren't there for us. And that might be a difficult situation to find um, a family support system of our biological family. Some of us had great experiences with our family support. Um, my dad and mom were always there for me. Um, they would show up at every track meet and root, root me on and uh, offer their uh, expertise after each race. Uh, but um, no matter what, um, we moved around a lot. No matter what, our family uh, stuck together. And that was um, a great support system to have. And not everyone has that experience in life. And, and some um, really just realistically can't draw that support from, from family members. And so we have this thing that um, a lot of people have family by choice. Uh, and so uh, it might be your best friend's family or... Um, an aunt and uncle's family that really took you in or, or uh, something of that nature. And so what are your, uh, so your family support system doesn't necessarily have to be uh, your blood family. It could be a family by choice. The next um, source of strength I'd like to talk to is mentors. Uh, mentors is that person in your life that 
helped you along the way, either professionally or personally, somebody you look up to, somebody that, um, again, has spoken truth into your life and um, has helped develop you into you know who you are. Uh, they've given you little pieces of nuggets that have developed uh, you into the person that you are. And so um, who are your mentors? Who are your mentors? And even... Um, we have a mentoring system in our education system with um, teachers and new teachers all get assigned a mentor to help uh, navigate uh, their first few years of education. And so having a mentor in someone's life is somebody something that is a, a source of strength for others. Healthy activities is a source of strength. And most people think of um, healthy activities as... Uh, things like sports and so you know definitely our uh, kick a ball around person or throw a football person uh, is considered a healthy activity but uh, you know going to the gym lifting weights exercise um, those are healthy activities for sure but so are other things like art and doing art and music listening to music playing music uh, the arts um, martial arts uh, even going hunting, fishing, those things that are healthy um, for you that you can import, um, use to reset, get your downtime, and strengthen your life a bit. Things like naps, those can definitely be healthy activities for, for people. I, I have a colleague who says that she naps, uh, you know, when she's home, sometimes three, four times a day to reset herself, and that's a great thing to have. <laughs> Additionally, um, generosity is a source of strength, and um, generosity can be being generous with your time, um, your resources, your talents, uh, just giving of yourself in general is generosity. And the next um, thing, uh, source of strength is, that goes along with generosity is spirituality. So I know we have families out there who have a faith-based uh, system that they believe and trust in, and uh, there are families out there that don't. And if you look at spirituality, yes, it, it covers that faith-based uh, practices that you might have, but it also is whatever gets your spirit going, whatever makes you think about something bigger than yourself. And um, one way that we can really focus on that, getting that feeling of thinking of bigger than yourself, uh, combined with generosity, is um, thankfulness. And I had uh, a teacher send out a list of things this morning, uh, or rather yesterday morning, of uh, things that she was thankful for and just reminding the st our staff to focus on uh, the positives, which is great because that's what Sources of Strength is about, focusing on hope, help, and strength. And uh, not really admiring the problems, but focusing on, yeah, we have this struggle. And everybody has a struggle in life, but this is what I struggle with, and this is what I did, or this is who helped me get through it. And telling our stories of triumph uh, rather than focusing on our stories of being stuck in the mud and not getting out of it. Um, additionally, there is medical access and mental health. Medical access in this time in this time frame right now seems all the more important because of uh, fears. Do I have a virus? Do I not have a virus? Who's going to get the virus? Uh, what's going to happen? Uh, and so, just um, being thankful that we have access to um, medical resources. Uh, along with that is mental health. And mental health and medical access, um, being the physical health, medical access is really one and the same. If you're mentally healthy, that's that's health uh, in general. And so what are the things that uh, you're putting into your life that really can help your mental health? And it's really all those other sources of strength, your positive friends, your mentors, your family support, your healthy activities, generosity, spirituality, all those things um, combine in together to work on and help your own mental health. And so this year in the elementary school, we've been highlighting two of the uh, sources of strength uh, tenets. Um, all year long in our large group OVS meetings and then we've had smaller breakout sessions within the classrooms where they've uh, had frank discussions about you know things like what's a positive friend how can you be a positive friend to someone else um, just real practical ways that we can uh, 
um, practice and show um, our own sources of strength. So um, if you have any questions, uh, please feel free to email me. Uh, but as we have a lot of uncertainty in our lives right now, it'll be great if we can focus on uh, the strengths that we do have, um, even if it's one. So there's eight sources of strength, as I've talked about, and here they are in the sources of strength wheel. I would love to hear from you and tell me uh, what your source of strength is at this time. So thanks for watching, and I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks. Goodbye.